Just being honest, I think if you graduate undergrad with under a 3.0, a post back is almost essential to your success in dental school. What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new here, I'm a second year dental student at Boston University Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make vlogs with my dental school journey as well as videos with advice for pre-dental students who are looking to get to dental school. So if this interests you, please make sure you subscribe, share the channel with anyone who might find it interesting, like the video, comment under the video, and all that good stuff. Now, I wanted to make a video that is kind of targeted at a specific audience, but I think it's beneficial for all of the pre dents that watch my channel. I wanted to talk about how my post bag program prepared me for dental school. So if you aren't familiar, one of my most popular videos on this channel is a video I made shortly after I got into dental school before I started, where I talked about how I got into dental school with a low GPA. And I outlined my steps of what I did between undergrad to dental school and how I got accepted to a great dental school. So a little bit about me, I went to University of Maryland College Park for undergrad. Um, I majored in general biology and I graduated in December of 2017. Um, after that, I went on to work at NIH for about a year and a half in a post back research program. And then I decided that, you know, I wanted at the time to go to medical school and I knew that I kept dodging around the fact that my grades weren't so great and I didn't consider myself a competitive applicant. So I decided to apply to post -bac programs and I ended up switching to pre-dent probably a few months before starting my post -bac program. But no matter which route I took, I cannot even begin to explain how beneficial and necessary it was for me to do a post -bac before coming to dental school. Now I know that post backs are deterrent for a lot of people. You don't want to spend the extra money. You don't want to do extra schooling. I get it. I was in that position before. I can honestly say that after doing a post -bac, my home, my whole mindset about pr those programs in itself have changed. Now, a lot of people look at post -bacs as a way to get your grades better uh, or maybe even take some classes that are prerequisites that you didn't take in undergrad. And for me, I would definitely say it was the former which I needed to get my GPA up, point blank, and that was the end of the story. Um, however, I realized that, number one, you don't have to be a 4.0 student in your post back just to get into school. I surely wasn't. I improved my grades, of course, but I didn't have straight A's in my post back program. But I think the most beneficial part about being in the post back program was that it was a nice intermediate step between undergrad and dental school. So when a lot of people ask me, like, how hard is dental school? or um, you know, how much harder is dental school than undergrad, I give them the honest answer, it's a night and day difference. Um, I, me personally, I mean, of course grades played a part, but maturity wise, like I couldn't go straight to dental school from undergrad, I just wouldn't have been ready. It's a lot of work, uh, it's a big time commitment, you have to sacrifice a lot of things, and you have to mentally be in the headspace to do that. So I think that Besides improving my grades, taking harder classes, etc., my post bag program really gave me the chance to get in that mindset. And, you know, like it gave me a whole year to kind of transition my mindset from how it was in undergrad to what it needed to be to be successful in dental school. So a lot of people also ask me, like, you know, how are you able to uh, succeed in dental school, get all your work done, get all your studying done, and you still go to the gym five days a week, you still make content and post on YouTube consistently. And honestly, I have to attribute it to things that I learned in my post bag. Once again, like I said, the post bag was a nice middle ground between undergrad and dental school. And although we weren't taking the extreme amount of credits that I take in dental school, we were taking classes of the same rigor. So in my post bag program, I took anatomy, I took physiology, I took biochemistry, uh, I took a statistics class. What else? Um, I'm forgetting a couple of things because this is like three years ago now, but no, oh, whoa, it's like four. Wow. Okay. But um, at the end of the day, I was getting accustomed to taking those type of classes like 
med school, dental school level rigor, um, while not having to deal with the pressure of taking so many classes at one time like you do in dental school. So it was a nice step from taking classes with an undergraduate level of rigor where I already kind of showed that I was not 100% great at, to, to, just to be candid. Um, I wouldn't say that I was a horrible student, but also there were other things going on, extracurriculars, all that stuff. Um, and you know, I, I try to reiterate this a lot, but if you cannot show your ability in undergrad, there's no way they're gonna believe in your abilities in dental school because it's an exponential difference in difficulty. And honestly, you have to show and prove that, you know, for real, for real, if you wanna come straight out of undergrad, you gotta make it look like you know what you're ready for and you know what you're doing. And the best way to do that is to show that you kill undergrad. Um, obviously, you don't have to have perfect grades in undergrads to get into dental school, and you don't have to do a post back if you don't get a 4.0. But if you are one of those people that are questioning yourself, questioning your application, questioning your transcript, a post back might not be the worst idea. Um, and I think that more people might need to be open minded about what a post back could do for them besides just improving their grades. And if I could go back to 2017 when I was about to graduate college I would have told myself the same thing and I would have probably been a fourth year student or graduated by now so this is me trying to tell all of those people out there if you're thinking about what you need to do to get to dental school and you're trying to avoid a post back you probably shouldn't of course evaluate all your options get different opinions I'll never claim to be an expert in admissions or getting into dental school um, this is just my opinion and speaking from experience but I would like to use my experience and my opinion to help all the people that are coming after me. And if there were some, if there were things that I could do differently, of course I would tell you that way you could do it differently and not be in the same position that I am. So I didn't want this to be a super long video. I really just wanted to talk about a few reasons why I think doing a post back is good. Um, of course, it's more of a necessity for some people and not necessarily like an added bonus, but. Um, I will say that my post bag program, it was a lot of med student pre-meds and a lot of, well, not so many pre-dents. And I mean, just about all the pre-dents from my post bag program are in dental school now. And a lot of the pre-meds are in medical school or getting accepted to medical school. So it's definitely a good place to put you around some people that are also just as driven as you. Uh, just as goal oriented and trying to get to that, you know, that next step, which is whatever type of professional school they want to pursue. Um, it's, it's a great way to develop a network of colleagues that you're going to know for life and you may need them down the line. Um, there's, there's a lot of benefits besides just getting your grades right. But, you know, of course, that's the biggest one. And maybe the one reason that you need to do it and then you'll find out how many other good things come from it. So anyway, just my short spiel about what my post bag did for me and why I would consider doing a post bag going into dental school. Hopefully those that were looking for a video like this found it helpful and it kind of changed your perspective on whether you need to do a post bag or not. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I know I used to tell people like send me a message or whatever, but, um, Instagram has become overwhelming. Uh, messages get sent to requests and I don't always see them. And uh, with school being so busy, I honestly check YouTube more than I check Instagram. So if you have any comments, leave them down below. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like the video. If you watch the video on your TV, you can still like the video. Press the up button on your remote or whatever you use. Yeah, press up. Now scroll over next to my little picture where you see the thumbs up. Just click that real quick. That's how you like the video, all right? And keep that in mind for all future videos that you watch on your TV, at least videos of mine. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. I hope you got something out of this. Peace.